Doctors, one of my relatives has been diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer. Could you please tell me about the symptoms, the treatment and life expectancy of a stage 4 lung cancer? The stage 4 lung cancer symptoms depends on where all the disease is there. For example, if the patient is having uh, cancer more in the lung, they may present with cough, breathlessness. And if the patient has got the lung cancer spread to the bone, they may present with bony pains. If they have lung cancer spread to the liver, they may present with you know, abnormality in liver function. They may also have something like you know, filling of abdomen with fluid. So basically the stage 4 lung cancer symptoms depends on where all the cancer is. Sometimes what happens is the lung cancer may infiltrate the blood vessels. So it may give rise to you know difficulty in breathing and swelling of the face. If the lung cancer has spread to the brain, they may present with headache, vomiting and all those things. So basically the stage 4 lung cancer symptoms depends where the cancer has spread. Based on that, the symptoms are going to depend. As far as the treatment and intention of the stage 4 cancer is concerned, the very important thing in a stage 4 cancer is to give the patient relief from the symptoms. Thereby the quality of the life and the symptoms are going to be much better. So if a patient is having breathlessness because of the infiltration to the vein or anything, then you have to relieve it. If the patient is having a headache or anything, then you have to relieve it by giving radiation to the brain. So it's basically improving the quality of life, improving betterment in the symptoms. Other thing is also to look into the you know better survival of the patient. Usually the stage 4 lung cancer, 5 year survival is less than 10%. So they do have a poor prognosis if the patient have a lung cancer at stage 4. But the thing is that it in, you know, it the invention of newer therapies, like there are targeted therapies and all those things are there. If the patient is found to be positive for any of the targets which are there, then the survival can be very much improved. The other advantage of the uh, targeted therapies that they don't carry a conventional side effect like a chemotherapy. So if the, some patient is positive for some targeted therapy, I think the quality of life can be much better and also survival will be much better and the quality of life also is going to be much better. How do you deal with a patient with uh, stage 4 cancer as for the radiation and all those things are concerned? I think Dr. Nisha will talk about it. So radiation in stage 4 lung cancer, as Sir has said, it is entirely palliative. Palliative in the sense that not to cure but just to alleviate the symptoms. So I'll be uh, discussing the role of radiation in the stage 4 lung cancer under the most important sites or most common sites wherein the lung metastasis can go starting from the brain to the bone to the lung itself or the other lung or the lung itself. So first of all in the lung itself the mass can cause an obstructive symptom in the form of cough or blood in the sputum or a breathlessness or chest pain that may not be relieved by the common painkillers. In such cases, we can give around 5 to 10 sittings of radiation therapy and reduce the bulk of the tumor and hence reduce the obstruction and hence the obstructive symptoms and thereby bettering the quality of life. Second most common site of uh, lung metastasis is bone and the bone what happens is that not only the lung cancer in the uh, bone causes a lot of pain which is not elevated by the common drugs that are prescribed but it also weakens the bone hence making it more prone to fractures even without much of a pressure or a trauma. So in such cases radiation comes handy by you know just one sitting or five sittings or ten sittings we are able to alleviate the pain very nicely and we are also able to prevent skeletal events for example fractures. So that is the beauty of you know radiation in the bone metastatic setting. The third setting is that of brain metastasis. Now the brain, any space occupying lesion as you know in the brain not only produces the symptoms up front for example the paralysis or fits or seizures but it can also produce the symptoms due to the increased intracranial pressures for example irretractable nausea and vomiting or severe headache. Now in this cases radiation can be given either in one or three or five sittings which we call it as a stereotactic radio surgery provided that the bulk of the disease is less in the brain there and they are small lesions in that case we are able to ablate the metastatic lesion completely or we are able to give a whole brain palliative radiotherapy wherein we can give 
radiation to the whole of the brain in around 10 sittings and can reduce the symptoms of the brain metastasis. So the basically in a stage 4 lung cancer, <clears throat> what the medical management does is we try to take patient as a holistic care, they try to give injections and try to reduce the burden of the disease in the body. What radiation therapy does is it going to take care of the acute problems and specific problem like for example as Dr. Nisha was telling if there is a pain in the bone, unbearable, radiotherapy is the best way to take care of it. And if there is a metastasis in the brain, it is causing compression or any other symptoms because of within in the brain, then radiation will take care of as early as possible. Within the lung itself, if, if it is infiltrating into the vessels or anything or if there is any blood in the sputum or anything, that problems can be taken by radiotherapy. What medical management does is, it is trying to reduce the overburden of the disease holistically, thereby survival can be prolonged, quality of life can be prolonged and the patient will also start feeling better, the disease burden once it starts reducing. I think that's all about this stage 4 life.